again, it's this is a Pelican 8 foot sit inside recreational kayak. It uh, it's not really 8 feet, it's 7 foot 8 inches, 6 inches, something like that, but they call it 8 feet. I guess they're rounding up. It's 28 inches wide, weighs maybe 30 pounds, probably more like 27, 28, something like that. Um, uh, now I've done a ton of mods to this thing. Um, let's start with here. Okay, number one, it didn't have a tie down on the front, so I added a, a keeper there, a bungee cord, drilled a couple holes through. Um, it also didn't have this um, paddle paddle keeper or this uh, J hook here. Obviously, it comes with the the place to put your paddle. Rolled it into the top, but again, I had to drill through holes. These were blocked off. I just drilled through those, took bungee cord, and put the J hook here. It didn't come with these pad eyes. I used these for say, like you can put your phone or uh, clip an anchor on it, and I always clip my paddle on a paddle leash. Next thing is this seat that. Um, I bought on eBay for like ten dollars. It's not a good deal. It's uh, basically it's got a adhesive on the back, and you put it in place. Unfortunately, I didn't put it in straight. It's a little annoying, but whatever. I deal with it. Um, so out of, out of the box, it's just this um, bucket kind of seat here. Uh, it does have the drink holder. If you look inside the hull, you'll see there is no foot pegs. And the angle is so steep right there that it's almost impossible to put foot pegs in there. Now, what I did consider at one point was putting some um, dense foam in there so you could at least brace your feet forward in it. Uh, I'm five foot eight, so when I sit down, my feet are like literally right up here and very narrow. The seat back is uh, pretty miserable, but I would say it's not as miserable as. Um, sitting on the hard plastic without a seat back. Other things I added, a rod holder because I fish. I also added one of um, these cup holders. Basically what you do is you just uh, drill through the, the, pla the plastic with um, uh, a jigsaw and do that. I had, um, you see some holes here. What I had done previously is I created an outrigger with PVC. You got it. The stabilizers are great, you have nothing to worry about. Look at that. It's like you have training wheels. Pull noodles to try to add more stability, but uh, once I added the skeg, it turns out I didn't really need that as much. And then, what else did I do? I, I added this sort of dry storage here. Um, it didn't come with it. Here, let me show you. So it's basically just a. Um, you know, like a little little bag. I uh, it was this deep, which meant that it rubbed up against the bottom of the hull. So I sewed it up so it wouldn't be rubbing up against the bottom of the hull. And in case you take on water, I didn't want anything that was in the bottom to um, to be uh, wet because it's not waterproof. I think it was maybe fifteen dollars on Amazon. I think this is a eight inch hole with a six inch hatch. It's pretty cool. It's good. It did come with these bungees, believe it or not. That's what it came with, it came with bungees. Now, what you see here is probably the biggest mod that I did to it, and I can see it starting to rust out. Um, a couple years ago when I bought this, it was um, sort of a cheap experiment. I got a really good deal on it, $125 on sale. They normally go for like, list is 230 or so, but you normally can buy them at Dick's for I don't know, 180, but they had a half off sale at the end of the season, so I bought it. Uh, tracking was horrible. It was just miserable. Like, it's like a toy. I mean, it is a toy. Um, but what I decided to do after seeing um, some of Zoffinger's videos is add a drop down skeg. So uh, I cut through here, took out the um, uh, drain plug drilled some holes and I had to measure in a little bit of trial and error. I got a stainless steel hinge. I don't even know what kind of hinge this is called. 
uh, and then bought a really cheap cutting board <laughs> and just by trial and error wound up cutting it so that it fits like so see that right there uh, first I made it too long and too big and it was kind of flipping around like a like a mermaid tail or something it was really funny um, self-locking self washers there and some people buy hinges for these but all I basically did is tied a little length of bungee on it so when you want to flip it up just pull it out like that and when you want to flip it down see it's getting a little frayed on the screws but I just don't use it that much that I care and it just um, pulls it right in place why I want it on a bungee is in case you hit a rock or a log or something what will happen is it, it bounces out like that and you don't have to worry about it like getting stuck and pulled off uh, so this helps a ton with tracking I would say with the skeg in place it tracks like a I don't know maybe an 11 foot kayak but it also helps with the stability the bottom of the hull looks like does get scratched up obviously and it's very flat so it's not stable and that's part of the reason the flatness is also why it doesn't track well what it does do very well is turn on a dime that said I wouldn't take a white water rafting <laughs> okay, that would not be fun and just to show you how light it is it's, it's like that it's got to be like 20 30 pounds and I'll show you how it can fit in here I'm not even gonna bother putting that back seat down I would if I was taking it out but just to go to show you with one of the back seats down you can just throw it inside a van like that right, here we go And when I say small body of water, this is what I mean. This is, see how calm it is? This is about what I feel comfortable taking this kayak out in. You know, you'll see how light and how incredibly portable this thing is. One hand. Easy peasy. Stadium seat. Right, well, let me see if I can get in without completely getting soaked or getting hung up and stuff. Well, I do. Oh, this is a small boat. Small boat. Small boat. Small boat. Oh, jeez. Forgot how small this thing was. Houston, we have liftoff. Oh my god, this boat's so small. It's not even funny. I think I've got no room for gear. Skeg's doing its thing. I'm gonna show you what the hull looks, what I mean. It Here's me. See? See how low it is? Gotcha. A little crappie. The boat is surprisingly fast. The boat 
with the skag it's a little bit hard to um, turn. Oh, a little pickerel, little tiny pickerel. Relax, relax. Feels like a pickerel. Is that a bluegill? Nice. Hey, bluegill. You're fat. This is like another bluegill. Oh my god, you're like the cutest. Tiniest little thing. <laughs> Look at you, you're so damn cute. I could put you in an aquarium. Who are you? He's a little bigger. A little bigger. Good run, good run. Oh, good run. Big blue whale. Damn. Look at Jesus. You're so freaking fat. Get it in. You caught three fish, four fish, all small. Now let's see if I can get out of this thing. Beach. Ugh. All right, first part done. Not gonna be fun. <laughs> 